Hello everyone, I am an undergraduate from BLA degree program. An inclusive gate tells abundant railway traffic landscape development for Avisavel railway station. A city where the character of terminal is not identified clearly, being on the railway within a district is a gate due to its strategic location. City with continuing arrivals will have a scarcity of lands in future expansions and also through time the landscape has a developed through different communities. Throughout the time, the area has subjected to arrivals and will be continued future based on its economic and strategic location. The whole railway traffic landscape here consists of the commuters' travel and also population to have been and will into different phases with timely changes. We are forming multi layers. The current health and interaction issues are identified where our target in this vision is to upgrade the travel where the people in and out both will be benefited. Community is a person traveling from distance regularly from home to work, creating a social space over time. This affects the well being of people. As per our online survey, 81% are regular government employees coming from the Hiovita and Agyantara to work at Colombo. So, a potential one is railway commuter dissatisfaction. With the reduction of passengers and step by step becoming lonely, affect the commuter satisfaction while com coming to the destination nation station. Commuter with long travel time feels stressed, sleepy, fatigued, and repressed in the terminal. Quick transfer with more change is obstructed, causing more time to reach expectations. And with the lesser crowd, they feel nervous. This causes the mental dissatisfactions. Why this a potential? Because this process of commuting has become a habit for them as a demanding task as shown here. In the terminal, the station is composed of an enclosed facility with multiple amenities. So the potential too is being a key element of urban centrality and activity. Base hospital bus station and the city market situated within one kilometer distance from the station are the mainly used in amenities. According to the street network's sprawl index, Avisavil has continuously reached to higher sprawl. Under the four main conditions of general theory of walkability, the most aspects of daily life are nearby within the surrounding, but an availability of other conditions working environment around the station have not been grasped. The transformation to an industrial city is visible in Avisavella with the establishment of export processing zone. So the next potential is a railway alignment within the main economic engine. Most of the employees are coming from the satellite areas from the provided private transportation and that their presence in the periphery can be seen throughout the day. When considering the railway alignment, it is more closer to their living places and also railway shows the relationship between access mode choice with these factors shown in the graph. As shown here, the vehicular movement towards and outwards from the industrial zone affect the traffic condition in peak covers. With their experiences during the commuting time in the workplace, the repetitive actions cause the mental and physical health affecting the employees. This whole thing affects the employee's perception on their job as according to the ecology of human development. In this case study of all of G-Line Railway Denver, a station at the heart of the town offers a greater connection with industrial passenger transport. Their considerations under contextuality are migrating traffic and sprawl and a catalyst for suburb growth. Under user responsiveness, they have considered drawing bigger workforce that can live in outside but work in city and facilitate shift workers to use trains to access work more easily. The next potential, abundancy of multi-layer communities with change in economic phases. As discussed in the adaptation theory, people show equilibrium with the environment by changing the environment or changing their response toward the environment. While applying that to our study area, some communities have adapted to change in economic phases while some are not. Communities of Kudagama Road and the market area shows positive adaptations while state and the street vendor community are not well adapted. By transforming from plantation city to industrial city, the state communities have detached from the changing process, while the other part of the same community shows connecting responses with the changed environment. With the transformation of the travel mode, street vendor community have detached. 
This process will be continued in the future with the manufacturing industrial cluster with the predicted land scarcity and new force. From the selected potentials, the user shows needs for physical fitness, landscape perception, engagement with the place and county move, and opportunities for social interactions. These are identified as key factors which can be fulfilled with the walk. And with the distance and the amenities, a land use is visible within the surrounding. Under the case study analysis, it shows that pedestrian traffic animates the place and support local business in their coming and going. While considering city configuration characteristics, urban fragmentation is shown where there is a natural based approach towards connectivity. Under these considerations, the pedestrian corridor could be applied for all these factors. And first strategy is elevating the usage of trailer traffic landscape by improving the pedestrian corridor. Above kind of approach can be seen in this case study. They have focused on travel experience and the social and economic growth where shared space type and placemaking have integrated towards utilization. They have improved access and circulation, encouraging the active transport so that pedestrians gain access to their facilities within the interchange. The user groups in this potential are considered. Commuters shows a habit with the railway usage. Their amenity uses city people, export processing to commuters are new uses. When these groups are coming to one place, a culture shock will create with while settling into a new set of behavioral assumptions. At the same time, government commuters missed opportunity is isolated from regular group. And the industrial commuter is distanced from the society according to these analysis. And here we are going to provide their missed opportunities while creating awareness happiness through social adjustment where they get a positive social experiences within their journey. User dissatisfaction and monotonousness have evoked negative feelings as the brain as the brain and nervous respond to the world around them. But the body is designed for interaction with surrounding where sensory stimulation could strengthen the cognitive ability, reduce depression and mood relaxation. The distance travel should be reliable for the more choice and when considering the time factor. The objective three hours remain constant while the subjective time will create comfort and experience where the sensory stimulation and positive social experience is identified as the measures of ensuring reliability. By this, railway landscape will be the origination of each journey. And our next strategy is railway landscape as a multi-use origination by ensuring reliability through sensory stimulation and positive social experience. Strategy 3. Culture is created by people for people. Under the living heritage approach, understanding of the new community's association with the site and the impact of this association on the conservation and management of the site and the potentials of the site shows continuous process of evolution from plantation, industrial and future towards manufacturing industrial cluster. The approaches state that continuity of state connection will cause appropriate equilibrium while unifying past, present, and future. Here, the core community in the site will be preserved using the newly arriving communities. This conservation approach is people based. As a summary, this approach is applied to the site as follows The declined lifestyle will gain quality of life through community travel along the landscape and the strategy is really a cultural route as the driving force of preserving multi-layered cultural community towards enhancing the inhabitants quality of life according to the discussed strategies our primary objectives are to upgrade the user perception towards the railway station to increase the functionality and productivity around the railway landscape to fulfill the user expectations for a satisfactory journey to uplift the livelihood of the city's multi-layer community while the second result to alleviate traffic congestion with the town area to enhance the economical well-being of the city and satellite areas. Thank you.